Alright, so in today's video, we are going to be taking a look at weapons. There's a few things I want to state first before we get into this. I will not be covering weapons that you can get from the in challenges, and also weapons that you can get from random loot drops at the end of quests. Me personally, I don't really know much about the in. I don't really do it, and every quest in the game pretty much can give you weapons as drops, so um, it's not really too much point covering those, you're going to be getting them anywhere. And um, I will also be covering Dragon Coin and Dragon Amulet weapons. This guide is basically going to be for any calibre of player, so whether you do or do not have an amulet or coins. Um, yeah, I hope this video turns out good. Um, I'm not really 100% sure it is. Uh, if, in case there's anything that I'm missing or anything that I could add later, I will maybe do a part 2 on this, maybe a second video. But for right now, um, the way this is going to work is, we're going to be talking about weapons that are in progression of the game, so I'm not just going to start off by telling you how to get level 90 weapons. Because at the end of the day, not a lot of people are level 90. So I'm going to do any kind of like an order of story, an order of Dragon Fable progression. Um, so I'm not just going to be jumping straight to the high level stuff. Now also, if I remember, there should be um, chapter links in the progress bar of the video. And also in the description, so if you want to skip to anything, uh, be my guest I guess. Alright, so to start things off, we're basically starting in Urklaw. Now, Urklaw is obviously the first place you get to in the game. And there's not too much to really talk about it, because it's a very basic starting area. But if we go over to here, we are going to get to take a look at Sir Jing's weapons. So, uh, do this quest here, Sir Jing's. Uh, this quest did get like a rework. It got like a, a nerf down to the enemy's HP. Because they were far too strong before, so they're actually a lot weaker now, which is nice. For newer players, I guess. But either way, I'm going to skip to the end of this quest. Alright, so I now finished this quest, and if we go to open chest, we get Sir Jing's weapons. Now, this quest is literally one of the best quests in the game. You can get weapons from level 2 all the way to level 80. Now, um, what makes this good is we can come here at level 1, and literally get every single weapon in here for free. Uh, these do require an amulet when they pass a certain level. To look the level 80 ones. But that being said, you can get any weapon um, here, and it, you can basically come here to get every weapon for the actual progress of the game. You can use any of these for the entire game if you wanted to. So if we're going to have a look at them really quick, um, they're all the same. So we'll just um, take a look. Um, there you go. There's the sword. There's the staff. There's the dagger. And the damages of them, they're 50, 60, 70, and 80. Alright, so now we're in Falkyrie, so there's not really much to cover back in Urklaw. But Surging's weapons are very good, so if we go this way, and this way again, you might have missed this up here. Which is the Doom Shop. Now, if you're in Buck 1, this should look a lot different. Not that one. If we get to Doom Weapons, it'll tell us about these weapons that we can get. So if we go to Shop, we can buy these. Now these are some of the best weapons in the game. They are very expensive. But um, make sure to get them if you feel like you've got enough gold. Um, they're very, very good. So you can upgrade them. A level 8, these weapons literally do 36 to 68 damage. Which is ridiculous. If you get this at level 8... You will destroy everything in the game. And they look pretty cool as well. You can upgrade them. Um, up to maximum level. It does take a lot of farming. You do have to farm a lot of items in quests. But it is definitely 100% worth it. There are a lot of like gold farming methods in this game. Like um, doing vault to vault challenge and dragon fights. Get you about three or 400 gold per quest. So I definitely found for these if you feel like you've got time for it. Um, you can actually uh, bless these into a destiny weapon at Artix. I'm not going to show in this video because um, 
you know, it's something for another video or maybe a guide to look it up on the internet. Um, it's a lot to cover, so why we're doing it right now. But um, Destiny and Doom weapons, they're very, very good. Um, Destiny and Doom, they're about as good as each other. So it doesn't matter which one you get. But either way though, these are very good, so I highly recommend them. Alright, so up next, I am um, in the book one file can reach now. I should have been in that before, but I forgot. So if we go inside the inn here, and go up to Serenity, go to Talk, and then Play Suggestion Shop. This is something that a lot of players must miss. I never knew about it until a couple of months back. But here we do get a lot of good stuff now. Um, they go up to level 70, the weapons. Um, the really high level ones do require a dragon amulet. But they still cost gold to buy, so at the end of the day, they're still very good to get. And they're not too expensive, so um, you can get them on level 8. Uh, these do cost strength coins, but they're wings. Um, you know, I'm just going to flick through them a sec just so you get an idea. Uh, but that being said, this shop is really cool because um, you do get weapons in different elements. So uh, we have fire, nature, dark, disease, energy, ice. Um, so you get them in all types. Um, well, not all types, but most. So it's very, very useful if you need anything that is good against a certain element enemy. So definitely keep that in mind and check this shop out if you need anything. And if you're going here, we got the good old blacksmith. He's actually not very good. But um, right here, I've done the, um, what do you call it, the clashing questline in book one, which would turn it out to be a different person in the shop, so it'd be Lim. Well, I think it's Lim after the um, fire war, because you'll go goes somewhere else. Uh, there's a lot of cool weapons in here. When you've done the fire war, you'll unlock all these. Um, so yeah, very, um, very basic weapons, but they do go up to level 50. So if you're level 50 and you need something useful, um, they only cost gold to buy, so it's not too bad. Um, kind of similar to the Plays of Destiny shop, apart from, like, nearly all weapons here are metal type. Um, but that being said, definitely worth checking out. And also we have two shops here. So depending on what side you picked for the clashing, uh, it's what these weapons will be. So um, we get up to level 55, which is okay. Um, it does cost drank coins, but they are pretty decent weapons. So um, that being said, we've also got the Dragon Lord weapons. Um, these do require an amulet, but um, they are very cheap to buy. So if you ever need a, a weapon, you've not got a lot of cash. Definitely check these out. They're pretty good as well. 71 to 79. Not bad. And they do look kind of cool as well, I'd say. Not that. <laughs> Alright, so up next. Uh, we're going to go to the right here. And then inside here. And then to the right again. And to here. Now, all of these weapons sold by Cicero will cost dragon coins. But um, if you have dragon coins, uh, they're definitely worth checking out. So um, we get le weapons always level 80. Um, so we get maximum level weapons. And you can get anything in here. Um, you know, all the way from level 1 uh, to level 80. Uh, which are... There's a lot of stuff here which I really like about this shop. There's a lot of variety. So if you need anything in particular, then you can just rely on it being in here. So level 80... The weapons do look pretty cool as well in this place. So, um, yeah, a lot of dragon coins, but a very good power and appearance. So, yeah, a very good shop if you've got dragon coins. Okay, so up next, we are going to be taking a look at vendor weapons and um, mainly class vendors. So, if we go to the travel map, um, we can take a look at the necropolis. So, we'll go here. Now, Artix is the NPC that is going to train us to become a Paladin. Now, what is also really good about Artix is that he has a very, very good shop. So, if we go to other classes. Uh, not, not that, sorry. Become a Paladin. And then press um, items. 
There's a lot of cool stuff in here. Very good weapons. So uh, level 23 is the lowest, uh, but it is very cheap to buy. And they are very good weapons, and they do look pretty cool as well. So definitely check these out. Um, we have level 23. Um, these are dragon kinds when you get past that. But for the basic weapons, are very useful. And for level 26, we get some really good damage out of a level 26 weapon. Very good for if you're doing a paladin class. Definitely worth buying. Um, but yeah, they go up to level 80, which is really good. The max level shop. Um, 80 to 96 damage, 2,400 gold. So at level 80, the weapons are still dead cheap. So if you got an amulet and you're high level, 100% buy some of these. They are very worth it. So as well, we've also got some really good other weapons, so if we go to other classes, then to Necromancer, we're going to go to Zorbak and then press Items. So we get a lot of Necromancer items, but in this case we get some really good Dark weapons, a Dark Staff. So if you're an inter intelligence, <laughs> can't speak, based build, and you're looking for a good Staff, definitely come here. Um, look kind of cool. And they're very good, so 3551 at 23. And it goes all the way to level 80 again, so um, 80 to 96. So for anyone who is an intelligence based build and is looking for a good dark weapon, definitely worth coming here. Okay, so I have had to log into my Death Knight, just because I don't have this unlocked. But if you fully train a, train a Paladin and a Necromancer, we can go to the Death Knight. So we'll go more. And then to the tomb, and then items. So there's a lot of uh, choices on here. Um, Death Knight items. We get some basic Death Knight gear. Level 40. Um, it does take undead slay badges to get, which is really easy. You just gotta go do one of those waves for Arctic, then you can get this. So very easy to get, doesn't even cost you anything. 50 to 72, which is very nice. And the weapons do look pretty nice. Um, but that being said, we also get Zeklum's items, which are the much higher level stuff, so the 50 to level 80 gear. Um, Zeklum's blade. They do cost strength cards, but they have some of the best weapons you can get. And they do look pretty nice. And uh, so level 80. Um, 80 to 105 damage. Um, 500 strength cards, but it's very worth it. Um, but as I said, if you buy this base Death Knight gear, you can upgrade it over at the upgrade items. So if we get on here, the level 50. So we can upgrade those basic items for um, the previous weapon and some more Dusk Essence, which is like a repeatable quest for Malefact. Um, but we can get these always level 80. And what is also about this shop is that the stuff doesn't really cost us anything to get. It's very easy to get all these weapons. So, um, look pretty awesome. 80 to 100. Very good. Alright, so on the uh, book one travel map, we're going to go back to Osprey Curve down here. Uh, take me there. Now, uh, just a note, I should have said before, you don't need the classes to buy the weapons. Just see so you now. So, we got to become a pirate. And press more, and then go to items. We get some very good uh, water based weapons. So the crewman's got colors, uh, pretty much as good as Artix's stuff. Uh, level 23, very cheap amount of gold. And they look pretty shit, but you know. Uh, they go over to level 80, like before. Um, same amount of gold to buy. So yeah, very good water weapons. And next we're going to go to the Shadow of the Wind Village. This is located just above Osprey Curve. So we're going to go here. When all the laggy cutscenes are finished. <laughs> we can go up to the Ninja Man here. Uh, become a Ninja. And then items again. So we have some really good um, Dark, I mean uh, Poison, sorry. Poison based weapons. So, um, level. Dark Horse Dragon Coins, that's really weird that. 
never seen that before. Uh, but there, toxic katana, uh, 40 to 57 poison. Uh, these go all the way to level 80 again. So um, make sure to pick these up if you need, good, need a good poison weapon. Alright, so up next we're going to go to Drag's Vard at the top. Uh, take me there. When we get there, we're going to go see our good friend Galnoth. Uh, we go to him and become a Dragon Slayer. Okay, so Galnoth does, does not actually have any weapons. So we're going to go to the shop in here. And we can go to shop and then buy some level 35 ice based weapons. Um, 49 to 67, not terrible, but if you're over 35, it's very good. I honestly thought Garnoff would have had something because, you know, it would have made sense, but I guess not, which is kind of sad. Okay, so up next, we're going to go to Pops Rocket over here. Uh, take me there again. Whoa! Okay, I just died. Fell into the ocean. Rest in peace. We're going to go to become a Techomancer. And then train, and then take um take around to items. So I'm good energy based weapons, similar to Sir Jinx. Um, I still think Sir Jinx is gonna be better because the items are free. These are a little bit better though, so um maybe get these instead. But if you need a good energy weapon, we got for level twenty three. You know, same old stuff. The weapons do look pretty nice as well. I would say. And take a a very good class, so um, yeah, uh, level 80, same old stuff, but very good. And next up we got the Sansi, so take you there, again, and similar to our takes, you can get a zoom of here, go to become a ranger, I am ready, and then items, um, he's going to give us like a wind weapons. So, um, if you need a wind weapon, uh, level 35 to 51 damage, you know, basic swords, but good wind weapons, so, um, yeah. And also, just the note, they use the black market here, which we can get some weapons from, uh, level 34 max, which is good, I guess. Um, kind of just random weapons, but, you know, I guess they're good, if you need out. Alright, so up next, I'm going to show you like a really cool shop that you can get to. It's probably one of the best shops in the game. Now, I am in book 3, Falkerage. I do believe it has to be book 3, so maybe when you're there, you can come here. You might be able to work in book 1, but I'm not too sure, so... Either way, I'll show you how to get this. So we're going to go to the right. The right, keep going. And go up here. And then go to the right. Right again. Right again, and then up, and then up again, and then up again, <laughs> to the left, uh, to the left again, and then up here, and then to this guy, um, Igor, uh, shops. So we have two fragment of replica items, so two fragment of kind of just other stuff, um, med shops. Uh, they're not really uh, actually weapons. The so shops are replica items. We go to dragon, dim blade, wallet stuff, so far. So dragon amulet items. Um, we've got really nice shop here. So um, level ten all the way to level eighty. Um, they do require dragon amulets for all of these. Um, but they're actually kind of not badly priced. So, um, the reason why this shop is one of the best is because most of these weapons, maybe all of them, I can't remember, have like some really good abilities on them. So, um, where can we find, I'm using the Ice Scythe on my character, I got level 70 I think, so um, Ice Scythe right here, it does this, like, I've, it got lo loads of nerfs and buffs the other day, a couple of weeks ago. Um, where it has a chance of like inflicting the enemy with this burn that makes it you do more ice damage to them. So um, a lot of these weapons have like, those sorts of abilities. If you go over to the um, oh yes, the blade of art at the very top. Um, this item 
can occasionally heal your health and mana. There's like a small percentage. Um, it will increase your bonus to hitting damage against reptiles and dragons. Uh, which is the dragon blade, which is a replica from Galnos weapon. And the blade of all is a replica from the, well, the blade of all. A light of destiny's Arctic's weapon. Um, it will increase your bonus hit against undead. The uh, 20 staff. Um, healing you over time. Zorak staff. Um, evil damage occasionally over time. So, um, a lot of really cool stuff. So, um, definitely the best shop in the game when it comes to awesome weapons. And you get them from level 10 all the way to 80. So, the, the max level shop. Definitely check this out. So um, I am going to leave this video here, I'm sorry if it was kind of random, but if there's ever anything I might come back to, I might do another video on this. Um, that being said though, thanks for watching, I hope this was helpful. See you on this one, bye bye.